hello guys and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a few weeks but i actually have a story time for you guys and it has to do with the title of this video and also my experience with far um my theresa as you guys know since i am living in ghana um in my vacation home um i'm constantly looking for different retail online stores that could ship internationally so then i decided to try um, my theresa and that is where my story time is going to come from but as you guys know whenever i come up with these types of videos there's always a unboxing to do i want to unbox this first um from louis vuitton and as you guys know, when you purchase something from Louis Vuitton, it comes with a big old receipt. So that is it right here. Um, and I don't know if you guys could guess, but it's just a little necklace that I purchased. I am obsessed with my Versace necklace and I just wanted to add something new to the collection so i decided to pick up the lv i decided to pick up the v lv v logo chain and i'm sure you guys have seen it everywhere um i'm gonna actually put it on now and to see what it's going to look like let's see there we go that is what that looks like can you guys see yeah um i loved my versace necklace i would wear it every single time and i just wanted to switch it up so that's why i picked up this cute v necklace so that's one um by the way these boxes have been sitting here for like the past three weeks and that's why i haven't uploaded um so let's unbox I forgot what this is so this item here is from farfetch and i'm still trying to recollect what this is oh it comes in a dust bag and oh i get it okay so it's just a cute top that i decided to purchase it's a, a bodysuit a little disappointing huh it's pretty wrinkled it's linen and we are kind of in the middle of this video i'm gonna tell you about my experience with my theresa and my theresa's order is this big old box right here and you guys will be so surprised if you find out what's in here because it's actually ridiculous so this is what happened i ordered it and usually when i order from farfetch i don't have any issues with customs or immigration um but this first item that i ordered from my theresa it came in and then i got a, a call from our local dhl office saying that my part my package is with them and it needs to be cleared so what i need to do is visit the customs office so i go there and basically it's not like an easy process these are all of my paperwork that i had to go through right and I, and by the way you have to pay for the application paper these are all of the processes that i had to go through just to get this item out of customs i don't need to do that when i order from farfetch but for some reason i need to do it when i order when i ordered from my theresa so my advice if you are living in ghana is to not order from my theresa unless you want to go through this process um, of going through customs having to pay for the application paper and also they would give you a percentage of what they think this is worth and you pay like a 10 percent of that um so i get there and basically i let them know that my package is here i need to come pick it up they tell me i need to go speak to this person go to speak to that person um and then go to the go to the bank and then have to pay about a hundred and fifty dollars i would say the whole process cost me around 150 dollars just to get this product or this item out of their hands and i did not enjoy the process at all it took me two days because the first time when i went i was clueless about it so i was a bit frustrated and i decided to just leave the package with them 
um that first day when i went the package was open in front of me so i actually got to see i guess what the final product looks like in the box um so they ended up doing the unboxing for me um and one of the officers at the customs office literally was apologizing because he knew that this was unfair like there's no reason for me to have to pay like a custom fee on on this item and it says it right there my teresa so it's right there i was really disappointed because i had so many goodies in my wish list on my farfetch account and i'm just gonna have to wait till i go back to new york to order these items um i thought i could have them while in ghana but i guess not so let me actually let's go into the unboxing and let me show you what is in this huge box it's just one item so what I did was I ended up emailing um, my Teresa and I was like, hey, like, is there a way you could take back the item from DHL so that I don't have to pay for the fee to get this out of their hands? And they basically said no. Um, and then I was like, maybe the box, I, I was emailing them back and forth. I was like, maybe the box is too big. And so they assumed that there was some there was something more valuable than it is in the box. And then the my Teresa representative was like, basically, the next time I order, I should just pick a different packaging size because the representative from my Teresa was just trying to advise me that next time when I purchase from the site, I should just pick the eco friendly one um, so that my items don't have to come in a huge box and weigh so much um, just to avoid the extra payment and fees but anyway this is i don't know what this is oh it's from stella mccartney what is it about mind you this box has, has been sitting here for the past three weeks yeah because like once i got it i was just like the excitement to unbox it was not there anymore and because I already saw what the item looks like, I was just like not in a rush to unbox it, you know? Again, I should say, unbox it again. Okay, so this looks, these are just my receipts, it looks like, which comes in a, in a cute paper form. <sighs> if you guys find out what's in this box, you would be just as pissed as I am. It's so unnecessary. I'm gonna dump this right there so this is it and maybe when i get back to new york i would appreciate the like this like the the entire presentation of it but living in ghana right now i just need something small and concise and not too much rubbish like i said they opened this box when i was at customs like the dhl section in customs so the guy over there basically box these all over again look at the amount of tissue papers in this so unnecessary and i literally only bought a burberry hat yes you guys i literally just bought a burberry hat this package has been lovely wrapped by maria maria wrapped my package from my theresa maria i appreciate you but this was just a little bit too much for one hat I didn't need all of this wrapping paper and this huge box for a piece of hat. Not cute. Not cute. Because if you guys order from like DHL, you know that they price based on the size of the box as well and then the weight. So all of these extra tissue papers and stuff, I, I feel like that's what made, I guess, them want to get extra more money i guess i don't know um but basically it's just a burberry hat you guys for days when the wigs are not laid and i just need to put on something really quickly to run errands that is why i purchased this hat i'm not sure which season this is from i'm not sure if this is from the men's collection um but i just typed in burberry hats and i fell in love with this black and red color and that's why i picked it up so let's move on to my next box this i know what this is 
I this is pretty heavy for what's inside. It's just okay. Well, let me unbox it first, and then I'll I'll tell you what it is. Oof. Okay. As you guys know, Farfetch works with so many boutiques around the world, so the packaging will be inconsistent and depending on how the seller wants to package your clothing that's how it that's how it would show up to your doorstep okay my receipts a lot of paper for receipt right and it comes in a dust bag i love that this is my first time purchasing from this company so and their name is aseno and I'll put the link in the description box. But basically, I bought like a pajama set. And the other box, this box right here, is the bottom of this shirt. Um, it's pretty thick, actually, and a little heavy. I love that about this. Um, but basically, I picture wearing this to like a cute brunch. We have a place in Ghana called Sandbox. And I picture wearing something like this to sandbox. And that's the only reason why I I bought it. Like I saw it and I was like, this would be cute for sandbox. But um, I'm possibly gonna roll the sleeves up. Um, and yeah, that's how I wanna rock this. I bought this in a size medium. Like I said, I'm a small to medium. Oh, this is small. But then again, this is pajamas. So they cut it a, a, a little bit bigger for pajama style so okay so i bought this in a, in a small and it's a color gold and this is what that looks like pretty wrinkled huh anyway i love this material this is a good buy um i believe this was on sale and the top was 169 dollars but then again I, i'm gonna post it um i'm gonna put the link in the description box i initially had the medium in my in, um in my um, shopping bag but then by the time i went back to make the purchase um it was sold out so i had to settle for the small and i'm actually happy that i settled for the small because i think it would be the perfect fit for me and like i said this is the bottom of these pants i bought them separately because apparently if you buy if you shop online and your order is more than $200, you would have to go to customs and pay for extra fee to get it out. I think it's called a VAT or something, or customs fee, I don't know. Um, but that's why I ordered them separately, because if I had bought them together, it would be more than $300, and then I would have to go through the process again. And I do not want to go through the process again. So I don't mind paying $23 separately for shipping for these two items rather than paying more than close to $200 just to get these out of customs office it doesn't make any sense um and these are the pants um I believe I'm I'm 5'2 the last time I checked so I think these should be um I guess a good length for me and this size is i hope this is a small because this i feel like the waist or the sides might be the might be perfect for me but i hope that it's a size small it's a small perfect perfect okay so this is what this looks like And I love these two together. I love the gold. I, I love how bright it is. And I cannot wait to pair them together. Anyway, guys, these are all the things that I've been buying for the past three weeks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Um, I believe the last time I checked, I only had like four subscribers. So I would like to just say hi to all my four subscribers. Um, thank you for subscribing. And also, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.